OpenAI unveiled some creepy new additions to its chat GPT software today. Check this out. Hey, how's it going? Hey there, it's going great. How about you? I see you're rocking an open AI hoodie. Nice choice. I just need to know, do I look presentable, professional? Well, Rocky, <laughs> you definitely have the I've been coding all night look down, which could actually work in your favor. Maybe just run a hand through your hair. I'd like you to be super sarcastic. Everything you say from now on is just gonna be dripping in sarcasm. How does that sound? Oh, that sounds just amazing. Being sarcastic all the time isn't exhausting or anything. Okay, that might be a little too real for us. The new model announced today called GPT-40 will effectively turn the artificial intelligence software into a digital personal assistant that can engage in real-time spoken conversations. Siri better watch out, and she might have to. There's rumors that Apple has closed in on an agreement with OpenAI to use their technology on the iPhone. For more on the ever-changing AI space, we're joined by media analyst Mohit Rajans. Mohit, what exactly is different about the new version of ChatGPT that was announced today by OpenAI? I think we're entering a phase with ChatGPT where people are going to have the access that they've been asking for. You know, it becomes a little cumbersome to think of utilizing a new tool, a new ecosystem and all of this and start paying this premium and not really knowing what the payoff is. So ChatGPT really wants to open up for the world. It wants to become that place where AI is friendly to not only the local business, but the big business as well. It wants to give educators the feeling that they don't have to run away from, you know, the, the plagiarism aspect and more work with it as an educational tool. And that's the demo that we saw today. We saw this wonderful demo that really just indicated on the surface level that ChatGPT is really aiming to actually be accessible to more and more people in multiple languages and on multiple levels, including mobile and desktop. We know people have been expecting OpenAI to announce ChatGPT5 today, but it was actually GPT-40. Was anything missing from today's presentation? I think the big mystery that's going on right now is that people don't know where OpenAI is really aligning with. They don't know if it's an Apple product that's going to eventually skyrocket into a, a hardware product or if it's really just going to go after building products that are going to rival and complicate Google's life. But the truth is, it's really holding its card set closely. You can see a lot of the technology spilling into the how about this or what about this world of technology. And I think it's keeping things at a place where it's keeping it interesting, but there's so many great advances that are happening as well. So if you don't sort of follow the bouncing ball about how the innovation is really working, you're going to get caught up in sort of this tech AI drama. And I don't think anybody really wants that right now. Well, speaking of drama, you mentioned Apple and OpenAI keeping their cards close to their chest, but back when we saw some internal struggles and an employee purge from OpenAI, it was actually Microsoft that took them in. So how do you think Microsoft's feeling about OpenAI nearing a deal with Apple? Well, I think right now what we have to verify is that the partnerships aren't going to necessarily be all rolled out at the same time. And so what we're going to see is that there's technology that's going to be implicated in the way apps are being built and the way that they're going to be in introduced in ecosystems. But I don't think you're going to see an actual rollout full-fledged for OpenAI and anybody else's ecosystem in the short term. Look, for example, what they rolled out today with the customizability for GPTs is just another game changer for people who are completely frustrated with the Siri and, and Google alternative to voice chats. That's another way that they could just spend their time integrating themselves into other people's lives. And I think at the end of the day right now, OpenAI is more focused on being accessible to a global audience, one that they barely even tapped into. Now, you always have your finger on the pulse of things, Mohit. What will be the next trending tech buzz we talk to you about? I think we're really going to start to see the move of text to video become a big thing. I think politically, the real guardrails are going to have to be put up as well about what deep fake technology is doing to ruin certain, uh, inf certain information and the sharing of fake news. I think there's going to be some problematic behavior ahead when it comes down to the use of AI. 
but I'm also super excited about the way that uh, mul multiple generations are going to be able to start to use these advances and see that all of the different tech companies are actually using AI in a way to help people make a better use of the way technology is. It's always a pleasure catching up with you, but all things tech and media, Mohit, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure, Nicole.